I was always quite into having my own style, I guess. I didn't actually particularly like sewing, but I liked what you could do with it. I always had something quite different and new, and I sort of liked that. It just became very much what I did, and so I went into fashion. When I was yeah, 15, I used to go and buy fabric in the daytime with my pocket money and then make something in the afternoon and then wear it out in the evening. I was always very really observant about how people looked, what they wore, how they expressed themselves. Hence, you know, I became a new romantic. There was Steve Strange and Boy George and Spando Ballet. You know, we were the Blitz kids. It was quite influential at the time. And we all went on to do something quite creative with their lives. It was a great time to be a fashion student. I just slowly became aware through costume houses. There was the whole side of design that I didn't really know about. I did realize I love the narrative. I like the fact that you use costumes to tell a story and to create character. And the more I did it, the more I realized that's something that I really, really enjoyed. You know the story, you know what they're doing, you know what their relationships are. You need to show that somehow in cloth in a period piece. You can look at reference, go, what did they wear in Holland in blood? You know, you have the evidence, and then you can play within that. Game of Thrones is much harder in a way because you have to make it up. I just look all the time. Even if I'm not working on something, I'll make scrapbooks. When I see an image, I'll just stick it in like a Circe file or whatever, and I'll just keep putting things in. It just might be a texture. So when it comes around to starting a game, I'll have a little sort of file of ideas which just might influence the way it goes. And it often happens, I go, God, I forgot about that. That would be quite an interesting way. But also what you've done before sort of informs you where you need to go. designing a series like this. First, it has to come from the script, that guides you. Then, you start building up a picture of how this person lives and what influences them. And so if they're on the coast, they can trade and they can buy and they can become much more flamboyant. There's competition because there's more than one armorer or more than one dressmaker. It's Winterfell, what do people do in the evenings? Well, they probably embroider. You have to balance that with the other characters around them and consider the set, colors, and it just evolves. I enjoyed doing the four women very much. Arya and Danny and Sansa and Cersei, because they've just really become very strong. I like the initial designing and planning and coming up with the sort of ideas for the characters, working as a team to make that happen. When you finish a film or a TV series or something, that's it, that's your body of work. You feel like you've really contributed something. Enemies to the east. Enemies to the west. Enemies to the south. Enemies to the north. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. We're the last Lannisters. The last ones you count. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. And I will. The King of the North! Your father and brothers are gone, yet here you stand. Last best hope against the coming storm. If we don't put aside our enmities and band together, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. The Great War is here.